what we are beginning to witness is a police service that is responding to political issues. Let me say for the avoidance of doubt, Mr. IG, as the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, the government of Kenya has given you every support in terms of resources, in terms of equipment, and the Constitution gives you the mandate on what to do. And you, are, you will squarely be held responsible if the police service ceases to be a professional service and becomes a youth wing for a political party or a political outfit or a political side. You will have nobody to blame because as government of Kenya, we have given you all the resources that are required to run a professional independent police service. Any politician who is not able to run his own politics and requires the use of police or the use of force or the use of violence does not deserve to serve in any office, any political office or indeed any office in Kenya. And therefore we are saying clearly that we do not want the trend that we are seeing that our politics, our elections, a lot of violence is being meted out to ordinary citizens that are innocent while the police are standing and watching. When the police stand and watch while violence is going on in Kenya, or in our elections, they cease to be independent and they become accomplices. And therefore, we want to sell the IG clearly that he needs to up his game. And time is running out. Tunamwambia Inspector General wa Polisi, Jeshi ya Polisi katiba inampatia nafasi ya kuwa independent. Na ni wajibu wake kuhakikisha ya kwamba kila mkenya anashughulikiwa kulingana na katiba mali yake ilindwe haki yake ya kuamua vile anataka ilindwe na hatutaki jeshi ya polisi iwe youth wing ya chama chochote tunataka jeshi ya polisi isimame iwe independent na huyo IG ajue yeye ndiye atakuwa wa kujibu sio wale wanamwambia afanye hii na ile those people who are telling you to do this and the other, they will not be there when the day of reckoning comes and you have to answer. Na sisi kama serikali ya Kenya, msimamo wa katiba na msimamo wa serikali ya Kenya ni kwamba jeshi ya polisi is an independent police force that is not expected to take instructions from anybody. And therefore, we expect from our police force, and the government of Kenya has gone out of its way to make sure that our police service has the requisite personnel, the requisite um, infrastructure, the necessary equipment for them to discharge their mandate and responsibility as per the Constitution. And we expect the IG to provide the leadership and the command that will ensure that we have a professional, independent police service that does not bend to political interests or partisan considerations. I want to say for the record that the police service have no excuse. They should not blame or try to apportion blame to any group or side. They have a duty to ensure that every citizen, their property and rights are protected. The biggest threat that this country can face 
is if the police service is partisan or responds to political interests. That will pose the biggest danger to our country. I want to ask the IG and the police service, the constitution is very clear that the police is an independent service and therefore they must discharge their responsibility as required of them by the constitution and they will carry the responsibility if they don't measure up to what the constitution expects of them. An independent judiciary is the pillar to the rule of law. We expect that the judiciary will stand up to be counted as an independent institution and not to listen to any lectures from any quarters. It is expected and we have confidence that the men and women in our judiciary have the necessary professionalism and competence to be able to discharge their mandate and their responsibility independently as is required of them by the Constitution. Everybody should do their bit. We will do our bit in the executive. Independent institutions should do theirs. The legislature should do theirs. And the judiciary must stand to defend all the other institutions by making sure that they are independent, they are professional, and they act in accordance with the Constitution. That is the safest route to a stable, prosperous, and democratic Kenya. And we expect all institutions to play their role without the unnecessary blame game that is going on.